Welcome to another eSword tip on the eSword Training YouTube channel. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to run multiple installations of eSword on a single computer. Now, I don't mean multiple versions necessarily. It can be the same version. The reason for running multiple installations is you can have each installation set up for different types of study. So you might want one that has Greek modules. You might want one that's for basic study. You might want one that's for devotions and so forth. The problem is the installation program does not let you install multiple copies and retain distinct settings for each copy. Now some have gotten this to work at different times by just copying the eSword folder to another folder and then somehow it seems to magically work sometimes. I'm going to show you a method. It's a little complicated, but it will allow it to work every time on a Windows system. So the first thing we're going to do is just install eSword. I don't have it installed at this point, so I'm going to launch the installation and install it. But what I am going to do to keep things a little better organized is I'm not going to install to the program files directory where it normally does, and that won't hurt anything. So I'm going to click on Next, and I'm going to change this location. And what I'm going to do is use, right in the root of my C drive, an eSword folder. And I'm going to create a new folder there, and we'll just call it Default. So this will be my primary installation of eSword. I'll click OK, and Next to let it do the installation, I'll click Install. This just takes a couple of moments because it's not a really large application. Okay, so that gets a single installation of eSword onto my computer. The question is, how do I get multiple installations onto my computer? And the answer is to run the second or third or fourth installation, each as a different user. Here's the reason. When you go into eSword, you will notice on the Options menu, there's a Resource selection. When you choose that, right here is your Resources location. It's where your modules are located. Now here's the thing. That setting is in the registry of the operating system for the user who's currently logged on. So even if I copy the entire folder to another folder and then run it again, that executable that's running from that other folder goes back to this resource location. So there's one central place where all the resources are. And if I deselect certain Bibles or commentaries in one directory and then go to another directory, those selections are going to go with it because it's all part of those operating system registry settings. If you don't know what the registry is, it's just a database within your operating system that stores your settings. So I can't get by with doing it by simply copying the folder alone. But if I copy the folder and then run it as a different user, it lets the magic happen. So what I'm going to do is right click on the default folder and choose copy. And then I'll right click and choose paste. And then I'm going to right click the default copy and choose rename. And we'll rename this to Greek study. Now, here's the key. What I want to do is create a shortcut. So I'm going to go into Greek Study, and eventually I'm going to create a shortcut to this eSword.exe in the Greek Study folder. But I need to do something first. I need to create a user on my system where those registry settings can be stored so that when I run eSword as that user, it uses different settings. So let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to right click on this PC or my computer, it varies depending on your version of Windows, and choose Manage. Now I'll go to Local Users and Groups and Users. And what I want to do is just add a new user in here. So I'm going to right click and choose New User. This user, I'll call it fittingly Greek Study. So that's the user. We'll give the user a password that's easy to remember. And we're not going to require the user to change their password at login, and we're going to set it so the password never expires. So this user really doesn't do anything but run eSword, so I'm not worried about that. I'll click on Create, and click Close, and I have my Greek Study user. Now for every instance of eSword that I want to be able to run, I'm going to need to create another user account. But I'll just do one for this tip. So we can close that now, 
And the next step is to create a shortcut. So we'll right click and choose Create Shortcut. That creates a shortcut right here in the folder. I'm just going to drag that over to my desktop. And I'm going to rename it to eSword Greek. Just to remind me what that shortcut is for as opposed to the other. Now here's the key. I'm going to right click and choose Properties. And here's where it gets a little tricky. For the target field, I'm going to change this to run as slash save cred. That's save C R E D slash user colon Greek study space. So what I've done is I've taken the default thing that was in the target field and I've just put in front of it run as forward slash save cred forward slash user colon Greek study. And then if I want another one, another one, every time I copy the folder, I create a new shortcut to the new executable in the new folder and I run it with simply a different name right here. That's all I would have to change each time. Then I click on OK and that saves it. Now when I run this shortcut, it's going to actually do something interesting. Let's take a look. It's asking me for the password for Greek study. So I need to enter that. But remember I put in that slash save cred parameter. What that does is make it so I only have to do this one time. So I've now launched it. And let me just show you that it works again. I can double click and it automatically logged me in. It saved the credential. That's what that slash save cred did for me. Okay, so that's working for me, but I do want to change one thing. I don't like that I've lost my icon here, so I'm going to right click and choose properties and go to change icon. And then I can choose any icon I want, or I can simply browse to my eSword folder and choose the eSword executable, and it will let me grab that icon back out of it. Click OK and OK. And beautiful, I've got my eSword icon back. Now, let's verify that it's actually working. So what I'm going to do is go into this one that runs as a different user and take the final step that I need to take. Option, Resource. Notice it's pointing to Greek Study for this one. Let's run the other one. Options, Resource. Notice it's pointing to Default. Beautiful. I'm getting exactly what I want. So to prove that, let's go to Download, Bibles, and I'll just add the English Standard Version to this installation. And we'll click on Download and Start. We'll close that and close eSword. Let's restart it and see if ESV is there. And now you do see that ESV is installed in this installation. All right, let's close this one. And let's just verify for sure things are working here. We'll go to Download, Bibles. And in this case, I'm going to download the Apostolic Bible Polyglot. And then we'll go down to the Greek Bibles. And I'll also install the Greek Apostolic Bible Polyglot. Download, Start. Close it. And close eSword. Then we'll relaunch eSword for the Greek. And notice that I have my Apostolic Bible Polyglot plus Strong's and my Greek Apostolic Bible Polyglot plus Strong's. Beautiful. It's working exactly as I want it to. And notice it's even remembering the different way the window is laid out. So for example, if in my Greek studies, I may say, you know what, I really don't use the editors. So I can unpin that, and maybe I don't want the Bible books because I use this Look Up Scripture Reference field to jump to my Bible passages. And now what I can do is bring my commentary down to the bottom, and that gives me a nice wide view for the Scripture passage at the top. To see that it's saved differently, we'll close this. Let's just go ahead and close this now. And we'll launch eSword Regular. This is the one from the default directory, my first installation. 
We'll go ahead and turn off tooltips or tips of the day. And beautiful, that one's the way I expect it to be. Let's minimize that and run eSword Greek. Wonderful, we'll turn off our tip of the day and look at that. It has remembered everything unique to this installation. So in summary, here's the key. Install eSword. Make a copy of the folder into which you installed eSword, copying it to another complete copy of that folder. Before you add any modules, just do it right at the start. Create a user account. Remember, we right-clicked on this PC or my computer and chose Manage, and then went in and created a user account. Once the user account is created, go to your second folder, or third or fourth if you're doing multiple, right-click on the eSword executable, and choose Create Shortcut. And then remember, you go into that shortcut and you change it. So instead of just being a shortcut to the executable, before the executable is the run as space forward slash save cred space forward slash user colon and the username. That's the secret. And then you can have as many installations of eSword as you want on your machine. You just have to have another user account for each installation. I hope you found this tip helpful, and I look forward to seeing you next time here on the eSword Training YouTube channel.